What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rhea and Fran giving you that Friday energy on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We are so close to the end of this season of The Bachelor. It feels like The Bachelorette and Bachelor back to back have taken years off all of our lives. We have aged immensely. Okay, it's it's been it's been a while, but we had the woman tell all last night and it was it was something you know there were some exciting parts there were some boring parts yeah you're right that we're, i think it wasn't excited it, for this it, woman it's, tell um all. it's i think because we've just had so many we have had two seasons in rapid succession now that it's just like we can't sustain this lifestyle <laughs> like we uh. we can't keep going like this we need a break we need a break, and I wish we had Paradise coming up, and we don't. We're going to have to go into another season of The Bachelorette, but please, God, give us, like, two months. It's like when you've been consistently housing fast food for months. You're just doing it for months, and then there's that one week where you're or two weeks where you're like, I'm going to... I'm going to eat a salad. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just like refresh a little bit. It just wears and tears yeah. on you a little bit. They yeah. barely got two hours out of last night. Like I could not, like 35 minutes in, we were all looking at each other thinking this might be an hour long. Like we just read the yeah. the TV guide wrong because all there's the no way they were- All the drama was over at 8.30. Right. Like <laughs> they talked about Victoria for 10 minutes, yeah. 15 mm-hmm. minutes. When it, we all thought that was going to be the main part of the show and they kind of glossed over it, which I'm still a little confused about. But it was, yeah, I was, I'm surprised they got two hours out of it. They really had to stretch it. It really, it really is bizarre. We'll get into all the details from the women tell all, but I think just, I just got to get out ahead of this, Rhea. We're, we're, we might be fitness influencers at this point. Oh. Like when you guys hear our ads on our podcast yeah. today, you're going to be like, damn, these girls are fit. They're, They're fit. living a fit They're life. riding. They're, and you know what? I'm proud of us because our ads, I feel like, reflect that we're putting in the time right now. We have And been. I'm happy for us. Yes. We have I been. looked at it and was like, you know what? We're using all these things. We're yeah. doing this. This is amazing. Yeah. I totally agree with you. Now, if this was like months ago yeah. and they were throwing these fitness ads, I would be like, guys, I, we almost yeah, can't yeah. do these because I'm <laughs> such a liar. But me and you have been putting in the we've work. Putting we, in the work. We have maybe not a ton of it, but like yeah. a decent amount more than we've right. had in the past four years, 100%. we both know each other. We've been with each other for the past four years. We know. Yeah. We know what we've been doing behind the scenes, and it's jack shit. Yeah. But, <laughs> but recently, not in 2021. Not in 2021. We've been, we've been going at it. So I'm actually really excited about it. I know. Me too. And we're going to start off with um, with OpenFit. OpenFit yep. is awesome program. It's all, um, you know, all online so you can work out whatever time limit you have. They have like 10 minute classes. They have long classes, but they have classes for everything. Mm -hmm. Absolutely everything. It's a streaming service. They have all these amazing instructors, um, strength training, cardio, Pilates, meditation, yoga. I love the meditation and yoga because when I go to the gym in my building, there's like a a, a room that you can go in, Mm. you know, the, they call it the yoga room, but usually nobody's Nobody's ever in in there. So this is when I break out the open fit and I'm like, let me get a little stretch in. And then I I look out and I'm like, who's, do they see the yoga? that's going on in the studio because I'm using it so yeah no it's great and those are those 10 minute classes can make or break a workout sometimes when you finish with a nice Mm -hmm. little meditation or start with one it's it's so great or if you're just in a time crunch open fit is affordable it's not crazy expensive some of these gyms like you don't need to go to the gym you can do it from your home you Mm -hmm. can do it with open fit it's so easy and great to use they got nutrition plans on there And we have uh, quite, oh, I want to mention, my friends and I have been loving Shay Mitchell on OpenFit. I don't know if you've seen, but Shay Mitchell has this four-week program on OpenFit. She's promoted on her Instagram. And if you've seen Shay Mitchell, she looks fantastic. (laughs) And I'd also like to add that I canceled my Amber Flex for OpenFit. Like, I need to put that out there. I get DMs all the time, like, give us an update on the Amber Flex. Like, I canceled that shit, okay? As soon as I talked about it on the podcast, I was so embarrassed that I canceled it the next day. And now I use OpenFit, which is the far better choice far Trust far me. better way more options way, way more, more guidance options. <laughs> yeah way more guidance you seem like you're talking to somebody who actually knows what they're yeah. talking about yeah. so yeah i highly recommend checking out the shay mitchell yeah. program she um it's it's very cool it's a cool experience that you can get through open fit and this deal is unbelievable i'm not gonna lie you can get a <laughs> free 14 day trial membership to open fit when you text text chicks to 50 50 50 and if you decide to keep the service the entire year 
is only trend. I want you to guess how much. Uh, over under a hundred dollars, would you say? I'm gonna say over. Under a hundred dollars. It's under. The entire year is only ninety six dollars. I'm into it. I want to start doing yoga. I think. There you go. Just Try like it. start your open. That's account. an absolute steal. You want to know how much I paid for Amber yeah, yeah. for <laughs> one month? I don't even want to tell no, you yeah, guys. Yeah. It's yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. You will get so you will get full access to Open Fit, all the workouts, and a nutrition guide, totally free for 14 days. And like I said, if you decide to keep the service, entire year is only ninety six dollars. Just text chicks to 50 50 50 and always to sta- uh, standard message and data rates may apply. I spend a hundred dollars on a gym membership. I haven't stepped inside of that gym in <laughs> yeah, try 13 months. Hop on open. Did you get that bike too? Yeah, I got that bike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't need to talk it's, about it's, that. It holds my towel that yeah. dries out uh, before I use it again in the morning. Um, yeah, I, I get on it every once in a while. Yoga but is great. I think yoga, you would love yoga. Just because it's so relaxing and calming. There was a stretch a couple of years ago where I was doing hot yoga at a place mm-hmm. around here. And I liked it. I mean, I almost passed out yeah. every single time I was in there because it's 110. My boyfriend loves hot yoga. It's it's jarring when you yeah, like yeah. it's like oh yeah okay it's gonna be hot in that room like I get it and then you get in there and it is a hundred and five degrees and you're supposed to try and move yeah. to the point where they're like if you are feeling overwhelmed which they were basically looking directly at me when yeah. they were saying it <laughs> uh, you can just lay on your mat and for I was would just lay on my mat for basically an hour yeah because I, they don't let, they don't like when you leave the room yeah they get mad when you leave yeah, because one yeah. time I legitimately sprinted out of there because I thought no, I was gonna pass no, out no they just want you to just you get reprimanded yeah. they're yeah. like stay in the room because yeah. it's worse if you leave and then come back in right, right. like it Temperature messes you change, up yeah. right yeah. so they're like stay yeah. in here but one time I did run out of there because I thought I was yeah. gonna pass out yeah. it's also calming I I used to do hot pilates and she would give like an inspirational talk yeah at the beginning at the end of each one so it was like I just gotta get through this and at the end I'm gonna lay here yeah. with my eyes closed and I'm gonna to get body chills and the instructors from, on open fit give great yeah. great they really do they like great motivating speeches so you'll be good i yeah. think i need to wade back into the water with not hot yoga so yeah. I, I think i am no, gonna yeah. try that regular, regular yoga. yoga you'll be good to go like all right it. women tell all women tell all trent like you said at the beginning you know it felt like all the drama was in the first 30 45 minutes and then we were just hanging like i there was no they started showing us new episodes yeah exactly (laughs) we got to see footage um from an entirely different season (laughs) and it it right off the bat started with like the victoria conversation talking with victoria and ryan but it's it was so limited that i don't know if they wanted the episode not to be about Victoria or if they didn't want to give her too much spotlight because she didn't really have to answer for anything. She got to talk to Ryan about the, you know, the, the hose comment and her response was like, are you a sense? Are you like a sensitive person? (laughs) So right right off the bat, like it was like, okay, so she's not going to be like, I'm so sorry. I really messed up. Yeah. And she was saying, Okay, yes, I called all of you hoes yeah. and slores, but you guys made fun of my bra, so yeah. that means we're on level playing right. ground and I here. just brushed it off. <laughs> yeah. and So you guys should just brush it off. <laughs> and then, I, I am curious, like you said, like I wonder why they decided not to focus on Victoria. Maybe because it was so crazy and she yeah. was so polarizing that they were just kind of done with it, but that would... You would think that's be something the show would want to focus on then because yeah. we would have been tweeting about Victoria like crazy. Instead, we got 10 to 15 minutes with Victoria and they moved on from her and then everybody turned on Katie, which it was just very strange. Katie took the kind of uh, punishment that we thought Victoria was going to get. It was a very strange role that, that everyone played. For Victoria, maybe they saw how much everyone actually genuinely hated her and was like, okay, let's not give her any more screen time because yeah. people are going to shut this off if they have to watch her anymore. Maybe that was the thought process behind right. it. There was a point where Victoria was naming all the things that she had to go through on social media. Like she was like, people were making fun of my eye, yeah. my bra straps. I legitimately thought she was going to say I was called the coochie monster. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting like that would have been my finest accomplishment i seriously would have shut the show off walked away and said guys i'm too big of a star now i must leave like that would have been so good but unfortunately that didn't happen no i think she was close to saying it i think oh that was i wouldn't have been surprised if there was a targeted like you see those girls that chicks in the office (laughs) that would have been and that guy trent that would have been quite an accomplishment for the group yeah 
Yep. It would have been great. It, more great if maybe she said, like, you guys ever watch Cutting Stems? <laughs> you hear yeah. what they say about me? <laughs> like, yeah. But you know what? It, it's it's tough because, and, and maybe she spoke for longer and they were like, she didn't apologize one bit. So let's just make this as short mm-hmm. as possible. Because uh, having that be her first reaction is as, as, as telling as you need it to be, right? She kind of said, like, if I offended anyone, yada, yada, yada. But... To have Ryan speak and her, I'm just spit all over the microphone. That yeah, was I absolutely saw, I disgusting. Saw it. And and your hands are flying. I am flying. <laughs> I was getting. You're banging the table. I, yeah. There's spit coming I out of your mouth. That was that was atrocious. Okay. <laughs> if she, like, if her first reaction is to be like, "Are you a sensitive person, though? Like, you should just really brush these things off because mm-hmm. every, you, and and it's the defensiveness that is so unattractive." And for her to be like, um, what what else? What was the other thing she said? Oh, she was like, well, I was called a bully on TV. It's like, well, yeah, yeah you, you were. were a you bully. were a bully. You, she, like, okay. she has clearly learned no lessons. When they were showing her highlight package, she was smiling <laughs> and laughing, being like, good times for everybody. So it's, it's she, they must have decided that she was just too unapologetic that they weren't going to use her that much in the show. And no Sarah. So much of her drama, too, revolved at the beginning around Sarah and that whole meeting with Sarah with with, um, all the things that they said. And, you know, Kit Kit said, like, two words during the entire Women Tell All. They didn't really speak to Kit at all. I was thinking about that this morning. Yeah, they cut it out. We We saw her say maybe two words the entire time. But all the Sarah-related drama not discussed whatsoever and i'm guessing because sarah wasn't there so they maybe didn't she even bother with it with the show that's the vibe i get from right. sarah after the jeezy stuff came yeah. out she got a new boyfriend she likes djs right i feel like she's well, over the bachelor or, i mean there's been a lot of women that have gone on this show or men that have gone on the show who are here for the wrong reasons people <laughs> and sarah might be top of the list of here for the wrong reasons mm-hmm. like she did not care about being with Matt James at all. Like she, that was like I'm. I'm trying to be a model in LA, and this is how I'm going to do it. She's so. done a great job of fading into the background because I almost forgot that that was a part of this season. I know. Like so much other um, drama happened in the house that I had forgotten about Sarah because Sarah was the first one, yeah. and then a lot more continued to happen throughout the season that I kind of forgot that Sarah yeah. was even a part of this season. So yeah. good on her for that. I guess. That's how long it's been. Right. Like, did they even invite her? Did she? I Well, this is the thing. If they wanted her there, I think she would have had to have been there. Yeah, she has a contract. Right, yeah. because we were talking like I was surprised that like once we got 35 minutes in the show, all of the girls highlight package had rolled where it's like, oh, these girls are seem pretty mean. Right. And they're bullies in the house. And I was like, I bet they regret agreeing to do this. But then you had said yeah. they're probably contractually obligated yeah. to do it. And you're yeah. right about that. Yeah. So if Sarah, if they wanted Sarah to be there, unless she's like, I'm breaking contract, I'm really just done with this entire thing. Who knows? Yeah, I guess maybe they just didn't even want to go near that um, and focus on the other drama that went down. Jesenia and MJ had their two seconds that I can't even really remember what they talked about. It was so pointless. Let's skip over it. <laughs> That's like they, it, 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 it was yeah. like, we're going to recap the drama that happened two episodes of, ago. Right. MJ was a mean girl. Mm-hmm. Jasenia didn't have a connection with Matt James. Yeah. Both of them probably going to end up on bachelor in paradise, but was their drama that interesting altogether? No. And on the woman tell all, no, not no. really. He just said, Mari defend MJ. Be like, we were roommates. She's not fake. And just then you'd be like, I, I thought some of her actions were. And also, I feel like MJ said that she took responsibility or, you know, apologized or spoke about it with Matt when on that two on one when she when it was just MJ and Matt. And I was like, I, did, did you? Because I don't remember you doing that when you were with Matt. Like, I feel like she told Matt that none of that happened. Right. Yeah, I don't think she apologized or, or said anything to Matt. Not I, that I, I remember. I'm not going to lie. I do enjoy when they cut the highlight footage together and they put the footage of MJ straight up saying like so glad it's the varsity squad here tonight right into her being like I never said that <laughs> that is that's a stroke of genius from the editors yeah cause it's like okay it's just funny when you're it's like you're on TV you can't yeah. lie when about saying things they have the footage of it crazy yeah I do want to say that Going back to Katie for a second, they they the other girls in the house really held on to the logic that pointing out the bullying to Matt is more 
is worse than the actual bullying itself. I, I don't they I thought between the show airing, everyone watching it, and then them filming this women tell all that the girls would see it and say, yeah. Oh, that's that's not the right thing. That's that's not correct. They just doubled and tripled down on it saying, No, the the cause of all the drama in the house, or most of it, was Katie going to Matt and saying there's a lot of bullying going on in this house. You should probably address it. And yeah. that that's gonna make everyone turn on them and think, Oh, these girls are mean girls. We thought they were mean girls during the season and now we are reaffirming or they're reaffirming to us that they are because now they're they're yep. teaming up against Katie again. It, it was really a strange it was strange for them to take that angle and they just stuck with it through the end. In my opinion, I think these girls have got to be pissed that they have been labeled the mean girls that this season was just so full of drama that they all looked so bitchy and like and, and that's the whole storyline for the whole season so it makes me think that they are on the defense because maybe they're like we had better times there were moments that you guys didn't see where we all got along but instead it's like when you're breaking up with somebody and yeah. the person you're breaking up with is only thinking of all the good times and the person who's breaking up with them is only thinking of all the bad like, times remember, yes literally i think that's what some of the girls were trying to be like remember the good times like there were some good times because they all came off the show not looking great and they're probably pissed that katie is getting all this credit um, for standing up and talking about it and uh, and the public has applauded her for it. So I, I'm just thinking that all these girls are pissed that they're like, okay, we're the Mean Girls now. Like, thanks, Katie. Like, this is all Katie's fault. So they all ganged up on Katie saying like, hey, you shouldn't have said anything. But Katie still should have said something because Kate, the, what Katie, Katie's talking to Matt was the catalyst for getting all of those girls sent home and all of those girls needed to be sent home yeah it, it very much feels like um where veronica was saying oh i i got called a bully on veronica TV. who's veronica <laughs> wait what's victoria <laughs> what like, veronica. Like, wow, veronica it would be so much cooler Honestly, if her, I name, wish was her name was veronica Ver victoria Good old veronica ronnie. Ver yeah ronnie is like <laughs> veronica like <laughs> Damn, he could have called her Ronnie. Veronica. That would have been awesome. It, it didn't sound right coming out of my mouth, but I was yeah. like, "All right, no one has reacted yet, so that must you, be the right." I was, I was waiting to see where you took it. You to have be never said anything more confident than you said yeah, Veronica. Veronica. Yeah, I was one hundred percent sure her name was Veronica. Yeah. Vic <laughs> it's like Victoria saying, "I got called a bully on national TV when you were a bully." Right. They're like, "I'm right. being called." They're all being like, "I'm being called a mean girl on TV." When you were a mean girl, it does yeah. seem that way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And and people were talking about Chelsea, right? Chelsea kind of got in the mix going at Katie. And I think that it, it is hard when so much of what we saw was them being bitchy to each other. And we I feel like we saw like their worst moments. And they all had time hanging out together where I'm sure they all got along and had fun. And these are their friends. So for Chelsea, it's I would think like, oh, you know, some of these girls have nice sides. We only saw the bad sides. But there are, hopefully are some good sides. But I think people, it looked like people were definitely pissed at Chelsea for how she reacted. I follow her on Instagram and she did post a story last night that like people were sending her um, bitchy, like yeah, mean she DMs just said and unfollow. shit. She was like, no, fucking so unfollow me instead of messaging me, which is very true. But it's just like, I, I think people were surprised with the way chelsea reacted to that situation because you would think like she wasn't really in the mix of the drama on the show yeah but she clearly was on those girls side not not the other right, side but the thing is like obviously katie was clearly in the right here obviously yeah. she's more mature than every girl on the show i don't think that they would make that edit if it was so far from the truth like right. i think that is the truth but i also think that there's probably stuff there that we didn't see like yeah. maybe they yeah. did have good times and yeah. we didn't see it. you know they're not gonna look like they had fun why, the group dates that why they would they <laughs> right. show that you know that's yeah. not not every, we're not here to watch them have a good time right, right. like we're that, not here to watch them all become best friends exactly yeah. so or it, it would be nice on the next season though. yeah a little you know bit, like, like a little like, refresher to be like girls can get along would be nice yeah yeah i that that would be nice because um it also can transition into the britney and anna stuff because Chris Harrison pulled Brittany up onto the stage, which in, in Brittany is crazy that Brittany, it's just her whole story. It's only revolved around this. We haven't seen anything else. They've talked about her, um, this escort rumor all season long. And 
Britney got to open up about how it affected her, how, you know, when she went home from filming this show, she didn't want to talk to her friends, she was embarrassed, she wanted to talk to her family, and how it really, really affected her real life. And Anna just sat there looking very uncomfortable. And then Brittany was like, and Anna, like, you didn't reach out to me after the show or anything. You didn't text me, message me, call me, apologize, which is kind of fucked up. I'm not going to lie. I feel like Anna, when Anna left the show and she had that conversation with Matt, she knew she fucked up. Like, yeah. She knew what she did was wrong. And it seemed like there was genuine remorse there. So it's kind of shady to me that she wouldn't at least shoot Brittany a DM on Instagram to be like hey I know these episodes are airing now like I just want to say again how sorry I am and she waited for the women to all to give that apology so instead. bad Anna strikes me as the type of person who's like oh, well I was too scared to reach out yeah. I wanted to but I was yeah, too I thought scared. about it but you know I I, I, I yeah. thought about it every day and I yeah. just didn't it's like well, that doesn't, well, that doesn't it. count. Yeah. yeah, this is not a moment where it's the thought that counts. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, she reacted like she couldn't believe that they were talking about it. Like, oh, I didn't know we were going to talk about this when it was <laughs> one of the biggest just, parts of the yeah, season. Yeah. She caught, She was completely caught off guard. And Maybe they told her, like, no, don't worry. They're not going to talk about this in the woman tell-all. Other stuff happens. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then the best she could muster was that Chicago is a small town. And every people talk. Yeah. And that's why, you know, there was a rumor or whatever. None, nothing. Chicago's a small town. Chicago's a small town, <laughs> Listen, guys. Hands up. I don't know if you heard. Chicago's but a small town. If small you know town. anything about the United States of America, it's that Chicago is a teeny tiny yeah. town <laughs> that not many people live in. And, you know, you see people walking on the street, you know everybody's name. Yeah. That's just kind of the way Chicago is. It just Everybody knows up. that. People talk. Like, she was like, people talk. Chicago's a small town. Like, imagine say, Chicago, what is, what is it, the third largest city? Third. Imagine if... Like, people talk, New York City, small town, everybody yeah. knows each yeah. other. Like, you may think you know everyone in your, like, I feel like Anna is saying, like, in her own circle. Right. Is Chicago's a small town within her own friends and like people everyone mm -hmm. knows everyone but you just can't be like Chicago's a small town like yeah. people talk like no you don't <laughs> you don't know every 24 year old in Chicago I know you think you do yeah, yeah. but you don't yeah I we, I think going into it we so all underrated that it's one of the largest yeah, yeah. it's huge like, like it's, it's massive <laughs> like it's a massive city population wise it's huge there's two cities in the United States that are larger than Chicago that's it Mm -hmm. It's a huge city. What are they? L.A. and New York City? Um, I believe so, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And the 2020 population of Chicago is 2,679,080 people. Hey, small, small town. town. Small town. <laughs> Very small. Cute little bakeries. <laughs> yeah. Just Coffee cute little shops. shops. Oh, it's yeah. adorable. Yeah. I would describe you Chicago know all, as quaint. all the baristas. Yeah, yeah. Quaint. That is the word I think yeah, of when I think about Chicago. town. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's I we all thought or at least I think most people thought Victoria was going to come off the worst because she had the worst season, yeah. but Anna somehow just skyrocketed past her. Had no apology, just had nothing ready to say to Brittany and didn't say anything to her obviously since the show yeah. has aired, so just a tough look for her. And I and I do think she it just seemed like she didn't even practice the apology. It's just she stumbled a little bit and uh I do I do think she is very sorry and at least Brittany did accept the apology and it is what it is with with the two of them and Brittany spoke about you know something wrong with working this let's talk about this profession like nobody's better or worse because of their occupation mm -hmm. um and Brittany Brittany's great like Brittany yeah. seems great I really wish we got to see yeah. more of actually Brittany and not just um this storyline and I said on Cutting Stems like I would love for Brittany to go on Paradise but I also would understand if she never wants to yeah. think of The Bachelor ever again It'll be interesting to see which road she takes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get let's change those Google searches. How do we do that? How do we get those she changed? She needs to donate to a charity. Is that what you think is that? Or come on Chicks in the Office and we'll or like... Or get spotted out with like a celebrity. Yeah, she's got to go out with somebody. Yeah. Well, yeah. isn't that like... Yeah, like... Oh, isn't that sad though? Like the oh, only no, way that pathetic, like... Yeah. yeah, like that no, her name course. is going to be like scratching is that if she's seen right, with you, a celebrity. You're right. Like, that's you need like sad. a big news story and that's like... Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. I know. That's unfortunate it's, for her. No, it is it's sad terrible. the way it it's turned a, out. I, I, 
it's got to suck so much. You go on the show and then now you Google her name and like it's all fucking articles about her and being an the escort. way everybody associates her now is like, oh, you were the girl that they said was right. an escort. Like, because that she sucks. didn't have any like redemption time right. on the show at all. That it was sucks. like, she's an escort. Let's not show her, give her any more airtime. And then she gets sent home. You know so. what? Anna really is a shitty person. Like when you really think about that situation, yeah. that's a really, really no, shitty a thing to do. Very massive. Mistake. And I don't even think any any apology is going to make her look yeah much better no i hope Brittany comes back on the show in some way because like you're saying friend i i think she's great i think she'd be great for the show yeah. but if she wants nothing to do with it makes all the sense in the world yeah, yeah. definitely definitely ria the um the leggings mm. that this is what i'm saying guys get ready we're freaking yeah. fitness influencers Fitspo. when you Fit by are ria. working out specifically you know maybe on open fit if that's what yeah. you would <laughs> like to use you should be wearing the Booty by Bray Bands leggings. Rhea and I They're are truly obsessed great. with they them. They really are. They're so great. And I think one of my favorite things about them is like, we both posted pictures in these in mm-hmm. these leggings, right? And I am not really working with too much ass. Like, I, I don't really, <laughs> I got a flat ass, but kind of. <laughs> I'm just no I'm just saying and Rhea has a fantastic ass fantastic thank you but we could share the same pair of leggings these booty by Bray Bands leggings I hate that I'm sitting in the middle of this I know (laughs) however however it's important because I love like it's kind of a sisterhood of the traveling pants situation with these leggings you go over I'm at Rhea's house maybe we want to work out together <laughs> maybe maybe one that's day. like our new thing yeah maybe we start working out together and we and i'm like oh i forgot some leggings ria i know she yeah. has a ton of pairs of mm-hmm. the of the booty by bray bands leggings now and i'll be able to wear them because they'll fit both of us and look good and feel good and we'll feel comfortable mm-hmm. and sexy wearing them right it's the only leggings i will wear now when working out because yeah. when i put on my other leggings i'm like these are uncomfortable they don't fit my body i i just don't feel confident in them but when when yeah. I put on these leggings, I'm like, these fit fantastic. The gym is working. And it's just like, they just fit everybody. They do. They The sets are so cute. And I love that, you know, sometimes. Great once, colors, too. Great colors. The one size fits all thing can scare people. Mm-hmm. But I love it because there's so many um, companies out there. I won't name names. But, like, the sizing <laughs> is fucked where yeah. you walk in and you're like, is this my size? Like, mm-hmm. you know, you get the number stuck yeah. in your head. And, and you're and like, then, when did I become right, this? Right. And that's all you can think of. So with these leggings, you don't have to worry about it. Um, they also have their curvy girl style too as well. So they're very inclusive, sizes for all different body types, all different kinds of women, which is amazing. Um, we love their, we love all of their leggings, but I think their black croco skin leggings, mm-hmm. if you don't have them, it's a staple. It's a must Essential. in your closet, must try. You need them. And they're durable. They're designed to last a lifetime. Like some leggings you wash and you're like, oh, I can't even wear these again. Mm-hmm. These are durable. They last forever. They're worth the investment. You can shop these leggings now at bootybybraybands.com and get 15% off using code CHICKS. Do it. Great deal. Um, B-O-O-T-Y-B-Y-B-R-A-B-A-N-T-S.com and use promo code Chicks for fifteen percent off your booty by Bray Bands leggings. You will not regret it. Go we fucking do it, or them. you're missing out. Yeah. <laughs> Go do it. Go do it right now. Uh, okay. The uh, the the next portion of the women tell all is what I would like to call the bachelorette audition portion. Yeah. Where we call up the women of the show that had the biggest storylines and um, a lot of attention and their fan favorites and they get to kind of discuss their future and their time on the show. Katie went first and now the rumor on the street was when the Women Tell was filmed they were saying that like Katie is going to be the new Bachelorette it's going to be announced on the Women Tell All or this is how it's going down. Obviously, that didn't happen. But at the time that this was filmed, which they did slap on the screen, by the way, like when Chris Harrison's face popped up, like it was like previously filmed on February 4th, 2021 to make it clear that this was a while, you know, a month ago. This was pre everything that happened with Chris Harrison. That's why he's still on the screen. And Katie, like I think when they were filming this, it was like, okay, Katie is the front runner for Bachelorette right now. I think that probably mm-hmm. has changed but she gave a good showing she it was emotional she was crying she had a good kind of speech she talked about 
um, you know, being 30 and worrying she's never going to find someone. Also, like, she's still so young. Like, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. it's you know? Yeah. But that is the prime time, like, bachelorette speech, I think, especially when they bring up their age, too, and they're like, you know, I, I just want someone to love me for me, and I'm unapologetically myself. And Katie hit all those points. Do you think they announced her as the bachelorette there and no, they cut no. it? No, I don't think so. I, I was thinking think so. about that because she was very I much. I think maybe they gave her like, not a hint, but maybe they were like, hey, like if this goes well, wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, because I was thinking about that because she was so clearly the front runner at that time. Yeah. That, and I know there were rumors that they were going to announce her at yeah. the Women's Tell All as the bachelorette. I was just wondering if maybe they had done it and they just scrapped it. There was no, no, there was no audience. So yeah. there'd be nobody who could say anything. I anyway, felt like but. her and Abigail really got like a bachelorette cut for sure during this episode. For Katie sure. had like a sob story. Abigail had a sob story and they both came across great. Yeah. And, it, and Chris Harrison kept throwing in the like, uh, like, what do you think? Like, so, like right. asking about dating in the future yeah. and just like, what's going on with what, you right what, now? Yeah, yeah. What, uh, what does your future hold? Right, and it's like, well, I'm still waiting for that person, so whoever it person. may be. Yep. And that's always the open to like, put me on a show with 30 dudes and yeah. you know, yeah. whoever it may be. So someone was even saying on Twitter that maybe because there was there the the shot of Heather that was she was out there on stage with them that maybe they put Katie's part earlier in the show when it was going to be later because they definitely cut they definitely cut bits and pieces around that I think right. like I don't think it, it, we don't watch the order of the show no yeah because I think if things hadn't changed the way that they have Katie yeah. would have been one of the last people we right. saw right. maybe right before Matt where it's like all right this is going to be our next bachelorette but they right, put right, her before right, right. and then it was Abigail and then it was Matt so right. it's just it's always interesting to see sort of how they cut it and right. how things might be going in what direction that's very true that definitely makes sense because that we um Abigail got up there too Abigail is so sweet and she um is she's just like and there's something about her is very calming. I don't know what it is, but she um, was speaking with Chris Harrison. I think we all learned from what she was saying. She's speaking about the deaf community, yep. and uh, you know, Chris Harrison put up those tweets of people um, praising her and talking about her being on this show. And Abigail too, I think, is up there for a front runner to mm. be the Bachelorette. I think people love Abigail. I think they're gonna, they would love to see her be the Bachelorette, which. Um, I thought was very possible. It was it's the same thing. It's just like a, it just now the women to all in these moments is such like a time for them to go up there, take the seat and be like, here's why you should vote for me for the bachelorette. Yeah. It really is that yeah. way. And I would say Abigail's right up there. I want, yeah. I wonder when we're going to get an announcement on what it is because they're going to start filming in a couple weeks, right? Yeah. Maybe at the final rose. After the final After rose. After the final rose. Yeah. Which because is now filming this week, I guess. Maybe it's one of the girls who's still on the show right now. Like who? Right. Right. You know, I would any, say I, it's yeah. the co Abigail. Um, Abigail, Brie, Michelle. Brie, probably, Michelle. I would say are the yeah. top three. Mm -hmm. I would think. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're probably right. They're, they would announce it after the final rose. Hopefully, so that'll be that'll be interesting. It, and it just depends really on the. It's it's funny because it with at, with um, Michelle and Brie, I think it really comes down to how bad or emotional the breakup is right because yeah. it's hard to spin the oh my god she's heartbroken and devastated into like she's ready to be the bachelorette let's go like she's over matt like let's move on sometimes that's a hard um turnaround for people to get behind because yeah. it's like you're just watching it because we're watching it happen so close together right. even though it has been they're months apart it, uh, it can be like hard to, to buy into that, but I definitely think that that is a possibility. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention this. This is such a, a, a big part of the show too. They, they, we, before we even cut to bloopers, before bloopers at the end, uh, Chris Harrison was like, let's take a moment back and look at some unseen, unseen footage. And there were so many group dates that we didn't see. Like, so many group dates. There was... It was a whole other show. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't believe they just don't show group uh, dates. I didn't know they do incredible. that. I didn't know they had dates that we don't see. I, was I feel like this is the, one of the first seasons that they've done this multiple times. There was like a fear factor date where they're, they had to go into the boxers, creepy Ugh. crawly things in there. They're trying to get the ring out there. There was a pancake, pancake and beer 
contest that looked like it maybe paired up with um, when Ben Higgins was there. And that was like Ben Higgins did that squirrel fall competition, but maybe this was a part of it that they that they also cut. And then there was this like almost looked like it was a search for Matt. Like, can can you find Matt in the hot tub? And when you find Matt in the hot tub, you get into the hot tub. Like, <laughs> Kit looked lost in the forest, couldn't right. find anyone. Um, and then it cut to like all Matt in the hot tub with like five women, just a middle of nowhere hot tub. I'm almost mad they showed us those clips. I know they're they're showing us things that I want to see more of that. Like focus less on the Victoria Anna MJ all of that drama that took place and give me more group dates like the whole time we were saying we got to be missing something because he yeah. seems to have these connections with some of these women that are coming out of nowhere like we don't see them forever and then he takes them on a one on one and then they say they're falling in love with each other it's like well where did that where when did that happen and come to find out there's all of these group dates that looked awesome like I'm, I'm trying to think of the group dates that we actually saw. And none of them really stand out. Yeah. But if them reaching into a thing with cockroaches and, and whatever, <laughs> yeah, that, that would have that would have stood out. It seemed yeah. great. Like you said with the pancake date. Like I want to see those. I don't love the pancake date. Yeah, like, it bothers me so much. Like it. We know. And it's so <laughs> people are gonna say it's so silly, but like people die from pancake eating contests. They do. And it's like you're la- like you'll like laugh about it, but it's I'm not laughing, it's but you dangerous. could die in a boxing match. You could die. Yes, in anything. yes, you can. But like there's yeah. something now that when I think about eating pancakes, I'm very careful I'm about it. I'm pretty sure you can die. I am you can die in any you kind can. of eating contest. Any kind of eating contest could, you can my, die. My chair yeah. could break right now and I hit my head on this table. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be and over. die. Yeah. I understand that. You can die at any I'm moment. Not, I don't I'm not diminishing it. I just didn't know you felt this strongly about it. Just just pancakes so not like because there's a story recently of a girl uh, one of my friends was friends with who passed away at her at her college yeah. because she yeah. died in a pancake eating contest so it's it's like one of those things that you never think about that but when you think about like how i know i sound crazy right now like how dry pancakes are but then yeah. you had add the syrup they're just like fluffy too and it's they are spongy like, if you're spon- you can like if you were like stuffing those down yeah, they get yeah. stuck in your throat <laughs> like Listen, i don't know i, I when i eat pan ever since i heard this story I feel like it's when i eat pancakes kind of like cupcake eating contest yes, yes. or like it you could know, be it's, literally yeah. any <laughs> I, appre- I appreciate the pca because when i eat pancakes i'm inhaling those yes. things and i don't want them be to get stuck in careful. my throat okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> like, i don't care about much but really? for some some reason pancakes into the <laughs> smallest pieces. Yeah. Listen, I don't care about much, but for some reason yeah. the pancake eating contest, I just it like freaks me out ever since this story. It was in recent uh years too, so it's like it, yeah. It's just a weird I like thing. the awareness. I like the pancake awareness. <laughs> yep. We got peanut allergy yeah. awareness, which is yep. very important. Yep. If we can bring, you know, awareness to these causes, I think it's important. Right. Eating contests, may, look, dangerous. They they are they are dangerous 100%. Hot dog like, there's eating people contests? that have um, just from having like too much water, like I think, I, yes, I, you know, it's it's it can be bad. I do remember, yeah, there was um, wasn't there I a couple. Of, this was a while ago where you had to you drank as much water as you could and you held it. Yeah, and it was for a free wee. Yeah, I, yeah, that was a story. Oh, like, and some, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. hold it, you don't, you can't take a piss, and like someone it hurt yeah, their internal is, organs yeah, and they yeah. died from it. Right, exactly. Like our bodies are just not built for those kinds of things. Um. But yes, they they showed all of these group dates that we didn't get to see. Instead, it was like, let's cut all the fun laughter times and just show the night portions of the group dates where all the drama went down. Them not showing us a hot tub in the middle of nowhere date is a betrayal to me and to all the viewers. And not even like, not even a... One on one on one hot tub in the middle of nowhere. A Matt and multiple girl hot tub in the middle of nowhere. Like there were multiple women in that hot tub. Yeah, betrayal. Yeah, so I, I, I <laughs> betrayal. It is a betrayal. Yeah, that's uh, hot tub in the middle of nowhere. Dates are the backbone of the Bachelor franchise. Yeah, in my eyes. Yeah, those are very important, and we didn't have them at La Quinta because of the pandemic. And I guess they did have a hot tub date. But if you're gonna have a hot tub date. In the middle of nowhere, I want to see it. And yeah. that's just what it boils down to. But yeah, I it really just makes me think in past seasons, what other group dates have we missed? Maybe they showed more because there was less drama or whatever, but I couldn't believe how many group dates that we didn't see that we saw last night. They cut so much. It's, really it was did. really how they got through last night. Yeah. They had to be like, we have to show these because we have 45 minutes of, of show right now yeah. and we have to extend it to two hours. It, definitely. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to talk about Matt coming out. Before we do that, I'm just going to complete 
the <laughs> oh my god i'm ready for this i'm gonna complete the trifecta of our fitness ads with trifecta nutrition let's go Woo! no she didn't no she didn't guys <laughs> yeah well no, done she i didn't. just hurt my hand <laughs> But you know what? After you put your booty by Bray Band's leggings on and you do your open I just fit sat workout, like a man. you did. I just you, sat you're down full blown like, like <laughs> hell yeah. You can get you can get all your meal prep done so easily with Trifecta Nutrition. You don't have to spend all the time cooking and packaging and putting mm -hmm. it in your fridge. Trifecta makes meal prep not suck. It's so easy to use, and you don't have to suffer to eat healthy. You know, Rhea. Rhea, we know Rhea's got some Gabby. problems. We got some Gabby problems, yeah. and she has to eat a little bit better. And this this is a way to help. I haven't had a help. burrito in a week, and it's yeah. telling yeah. me I love burritos. <laughs> but it's great because you can get some kind of alternative of that type yes. of meal with Trifecta Nutrition. It's sent right to your door. Um, it's fresh food. It's never frozen organic produce gluten-free, um, and the meat is at animal welfare level five, which is the highest it can possibly be. And it's just it's just a way you can avoid like spending so much time cooking. It's I, I I can't do that. Like I'm not someone who is gonna spend hours meal prepping, but I wanna eat well. So this is such an easy solution for that. It's the meal prep that athletes use, and it's more than just food, it's a nutrition program. They ha also have an app to help track your meals and fitness um, and a whole community of users on the app that you can speak to who will tell you about how great Trifecta Nutrition is. Some of the meals, like I had, um, they had these burgers that were just so <laughs> tasty. <laughs> yes, I, that was a very interesting sound effect. I All of a sudden I was a mouse. <laughs> all of a sudden I was a little mouse eating my burger. You are like a cute little mouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, but they're, it's <laughs> great. <laughs> That's me. I was gonna say, is that me? <laughs> that is felt that like correct? me. You're like looking yeah. at Fran and then like, oh, well, he's the next person. Oh, yeah. Trent, he's a monster when he eats. <laughs> Just an abs, it's an, it's you a You were mess. not in my, I was thinking of myself. That's how uh, I think of myself. Yeah. But <laughs> no, but then, god damn. Yeah. Great foods, fresh meat, um, fresh fish. The fish is fantastic too. So you can shop all their meal plans and get 40% off meal prep with code CHICKS. Go to trifectanutrition.com slash chicks for this exclusive offer. Matt James came out with his beard. We Who knew, knew that he, he had this beard. Show? <laughs> yeah, I know. And Matt James came out at 9.36 p.m. Like they really just didn't have any dramatic Matt footage. I feel like they brought Matt out for who know probably a longer amount of time, right? Like they yeah. filmed this show all day. It's a long time. And the amount of footage they had that they felt was usable was like 9.36. They cut to the bloopers at like 9.50. It was like worth eight minutes <laughs> total he, with commercials. It really just drives home the point that he is a side character on this season. It's insane. It's so shitty. Like we didn't get to learn anything about Matt James. Like we, no. Matt James was such a side character on his own season of The Bachelor and they did that. Like they cut that to happen. We didn't get any great Matt James moments. He's barely on the women tell all. Right, the main takeaway from his appearance last night, everyone was like, look at that beard. Yeah, everyone was like, wow, James huge. Harden up in the building. That's I, what one person said. A big fan of that beard. I'm just a big fan of it. I know it's a polarizing topic yeah. on social media, on yeah. Twitter, but I just want to say that I fully support his beard. And he was on this show and he had the beard. Right. And we, I, ex we knew the beard was coming. Yeah. Right. I don't even, it doesn't make a difference to me in, in one yeah. way or the other. Like, I don't feel passionately about him having it and I don't feel passionately about right. him not having it. I, I will say, I do prefer him sans beard. However... Still looks great. I like a beard. My man's got beard. Yeah, yeah, you're, he does. <laughs> He's got he does. beard. My man's got beards. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a beard. He's got beard. He's got beard. Yep. Got, He's got beard. <laughs> He's be bearded up. He stays bearded up. <laughs> that would be a great ad campaign for Matt James. Like if not like not got milk, but like just for beards. Like got beard is just yeah. Matt James face. Manscaped. Yeah. Yeah. He that beard, it's a good looking beard. He talked about how Glistening. he felt like he needs it because he's wiser after this whole experience. Is Matt James I, you know, one day, one day we'll get Matt James's real feelings about this being on this show, you know, and this season. Because right now, I just feel like for him to be like, you know, I'm wiser after this season is like, yeah, he got put through the ringer. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's <laughs> we are all wiser that yeah. after this season. We all we all learned a lot this season. Yeah. Um, some hair. Oh, we all pancakes. have some hairs growing on our face. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, he was out there for a very short period of time and nothing like he he talked to Abigail a little bit like they yeah. they she was talking and it, I thought that was going to be the most emotional like them seeing each other again because their breakup was a little strange and yeah. that his explanation, although he thought it was going to be comforting, was was a bit odd where he's saying, I fell for you so hard immediately and I gave you the first impression, Rose, that I felt like we were set. And then I went and I started these relationships with other women and it just sort of got away from him. But she was just like, uh, yeah, no, it's good yeah. to see you. Hope things are well. Yeah. I learned a lot. You learned a lot. Yep. And that was a good experience for both of us. Yeah, exactly. And it was the only one that felt a little dramatic was Serena P because mm -hmm. you know Serena P had her moment too to speak about leaving and the breakup and those decisions she made. And she definitely looked like she maybe regretted her decision. Cause I, I feel like when she talked to Chris Harrison and Chris Harrison was like, we, I really thought it was going to be you at the end. Like you're like in your Ooh. mind, Serena has got to be like, Oh shit. I probably, I could have made the wrong decision. Like this could have been the, the guy, but she still maybe didn't feel it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think her mom and her sister really influenced her a lot, her a lot. Right. And somebody asked a good question in the comments of Cutting Stems last night where it was, do you think Serena P's mom and sister had a heavy influence on her leaving? And if that hadn't happened, would she still be, would she be right. one of the final three? And I think we all would agree that it's yes. I think yes. Yeah. Like she was very much into it until... Her sister was just said, I don't see it. You don't yeah. seem smitten. I don't see it at all. And then yeah. Serena P was like, oh, maybe this isn't right for me and sent herself home. So, yeah, you know, I, I don't know what's going on right now with Matt. I'm I'm interested to watch the after the final rose to get the the information on what's going on right now. Yeah. But I, I'd say there's a 15 percent chance that Matt James and Serena P end up together at some point. I think. Right. I think there could be a, a down the road. I think they could reconnect. Interesting. I, agree I, with I don't that. think it's a, a high chance. I don't chance. think it's crazy. I, I agree with that. I really don't think it's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I, it can happen. I, I think it's definitely possible. And then um, Heather, guys. Oh. I, Heather, <laughs> if you didn't notice, if you weren't watching close enough, Heather was at the Women Tell All. She was seated next to Kit. They cut away from her every time the camera panned too far to the left. But when they had the overhead shots, you saw a woman with long blonde hair sitting there. And then there was one kind of shot that went f like rapidly around the group and it was like you could see heather it was clearly heather uh they didn't spend one minute talking about her if they they brought her there and i wonder if they could have had a whole segment speaking about heather showing up and how that went down and they didn't feel like it was g good enough to put in the show they had me second guessing my own eyes yeah because you spotted it early on friend you're like i think i just That's saw heather for sure heather and then we had people sending us screenshots but since they spent no time showing her or they cut her entire segment or whatever happened, yep. they legitimately had me questioning my own brain and my own eyes. And I, I feel bad for Heather, honestly. Like, they bring her out there. Well, first of all, they tease her throughout the entire season to the point where everyone is like, let's just get this over yep. with. And then she is there for eight, seconds. eight or nine minutes and she gets sent home. And then they bring her out. They fly her out. They invite her to the Women Tell All. And they just... They don't talk about her. They don't use any of the things that they potentially talk to her about. It was just, I didn't think I would be on Heather's side at the end of all this, but I'm very much, I feel bad for Heather after yeah. all this. They put her through it. Yeah, it was It was a really tough showing for Heather yep. all around. And not to her, like, it wasn't her doing. It's not her doing. She probably was like, yeah, I'll go to the woman tell all. Didn't show her. She's got to be done by now. And if she's not, then she really is looking for, for some bachelor fame we like, were saying he has to be if you got done so dirty like this you got to walk away you just have to walk away from it we were saying that we hope that she got a segment and just blew the entire yeah. thing up and was like you guys did this you guys made people make fun of me on social media i had nothing to do with this you flew me out you wanted me to be part of the story and that like if that tape is out there somewhere <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. If that tape is out there, I, I want to see it. We all want to see it. Yeah, we do. Because I hope that's what happened. I'm with you. Just I just, slide it our way. We won't share it. But. Yeah. I, and I said this on Cutting Stems. I'll say it again. The way that they showed some of these bloopers and the unseen footage is they could have cut a completely different show. Like the way, like the producers gave us one of the worst like drama filled seasons as far as like actually believing in a in a love connection that that could happen and they just left so much on the cutting room floor that they could have 
put together a completely different show. Give me those files. Yeah. Give me those <laughs> files. We want the Trent Ryan cut. I want the cut. Season. Me and Kelly Keegs, we want to put our own cut together. Yeah. Because they're that's what's really interesting about this show is they start out with this huge it, with all this footage and then they get to whittle it down yep. however they want and they can make storylines however they want. I think it would be great if they let us have access to those files and they let us cut our own version just to see how many different ways you can cut that, that footage. That would be a great editing exercise if it was like make Victoria look like the good person. All right. Yeah. Like I'm sure there's a way. Like, yeah. Like they wouldn't, I mean they'll, they'll never do this. It was gr- it'd be great for like a film class somewhere. Like yeah, if exactly. that's like, like college, yeah, like, a college mm-hmm. film class, like and just to editing see, course. even if you didn't give them instructions like that, you could just say make your own season and see how many different ways it different can look. Different seasons you could get out of it. That yeah. would be great. Yeah, it would be very, very interesting because I think you could have tons of different uh, versions of this season. They did, of course, end with bloopers, and we saw JoJo and and Tasha had like a whole date I had a whole had a whole time like i i think it was um JoJo i think it was JoJo who posted on her story too she was like we came we went we made the bloopers like <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> just a whole part of the JoJo and Tasha showing up didn't even get to see that yeah i would have liked to have seen that and it looked like they had a funny too. interaction they were eating something spicy yeah it was hilarious. JoJo couldn't handle it it's you know JoJo was like Tasha, do not eat it. <laughs> right. It was funny. It was very funny. Um, but of course they they closed on a on a Matt James boner situation. Mm. They were in the hot. Who was he in the hot tub with? Serena. Shit. It was was Serena. it Serena? Yep. Yeah. And Serena got out and he was like tried to get up and was like I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna need my robe. I'm that's, gonna that's need good, my robe. That's good boner awareness by Matt. And the reality of the situation, Matt James is getting boners. And you know what? I feel like we have talked about this fact so many times when it comes to this show, like that The Bachelor probably has had to hide this, Mm -hmm. uh, hide a boner many times. And now I feel like The Bachelor, whoever cut the bloopers, has caught on to this conversation happening so much that they were like, oh, let's let's throw this in there because it's here it is. Prime example of Matt being like, I need a minute. That uh, that felt like the most personality we got from Matt. Yeah, like, yeah. I would have liked more moments like that where he's like, I can't get out of this hot tub right now because I have a boner. Yeah. Everything else <laughs> yeah. the rest of the season, every, everything else was him reacting to right. something and his yeah. reactions are, are a bit strange. So him, I would have liked to have seen more moments like that. I and I, I bet there's a lot yeah, more moments for like sure. that. We deserved way more moments from Matt just in general. Yeah. I feel Give like. this guy another season. I know. I know. Let's <laughs> do it. I'm it. in. He deserves it. I think that wraps it up. We'll be back next week for the fantasy suites. I think we're all kind of just dying for the after the final rose at this point, but we got two weeks. We got the fantasy suites, there. and then one more week after that, we'll get to the finale and the after the final rose. So we can look forward to that and see what happens in the fantasy suites next week.